In this video, we'll explore the construction and working of a fuel injector. Specifically, we'll focus on a model designed for Himson 21-32 type engine. The fuel injector plays a crucial role in the combustion process of an IC engine, ensuring efficient fuel delivery for optimal engine performance. Understanding its construction and operation is essential for any marine engineer working on these systems. Let's begin by disassembling the fuel injector and look at the exploded view. When disassembling, it's crucial to begin by loosening the adjust bolt, then proceed to loosen the nozzle nut. This sequence is essential as opening the nozzle nut without first easing off the internal spring pressure can potentially damage the atomizer assembly. In this cross-section view, we observe that spring force is transmitted to the atomizer needle via the spindle. Therefore, adjusting the bolt will alter the force exerted on the atomizer needle. This allows the operator to set opening pressure as required during maintenance. During the injection phase, pressurized fuel flows into the fuel valve body and then moves towards the atomizer. Within the atomizer, the bore is split into two parts as shown. These two holes on the atomizer serves as locating holes for the double pins which ensures correct assembly. The other two holes are for the passage of nozzle cooling oil which will be discussed further in the video. As the fuel enters the atomizer, it applies pressure on the atomizer needle. When the force exerted by the fuel overcomes the opposing spring force, the needle lifts, injecting atomized fuel into the combustion chamber. Over time, as the injector needle moves, the interface between the needle and atomizer undergoes gradual wear. This wear can lead to leakage of high pressure fuel, allowing it to seep past this interface and into the fuel valve body. O-ring on the adjust bolt prevents this oil from leaking into the rocker arm space. So if your lube oil system is being contaminated with fuel, this might be one of the reasons. This leak of fuel combined with leakage from other areas such as high pressure block and fuel pump is directed to a designated leak of tank. An alarm system is in place to alert engineers if leakage exceeds a certain threshold. Eventually, this leak of fuel is led to an overflow tank or a similar arrangement. It's important to note that this process is different from main engine where return from fuel injector is routed back to the fuel oil system via the return line. To understand nozzle cooling, let's examine a cross-section view from a different angle. Lubricating oil circulates inside the fuel injector as shown, drawing heat away from the atomizer. Nozzle cooling is essential as it helps preserve the hardness of the atomizer at elevated temperatures it is subjected to inside the combustion chamber. This is an animation showing all the passages inside the fuel valve body. Here you can observe how the four o-rings on the fuel valve body act as barriers, effectively separating various media flowing in and out of the valve. This prevents any cross-contamination between them. The internal cooling oil passage makes it impossible for the atomizer to be fabricated in a single piece. Thus, atomizer is made up of two pieces which are then braced together to form a complete atomizer assembly. As we conclude this video, I hope this has provided you with valuable insights into this critical component of an auxiliary engine. If you have any questions or would like to share your experiences, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay safe and keep learning.